it. Push, 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 go. Hello and welcome to another installation of Be Effective. Tonight's episode is all about how to be an effective max. But what exactly is a max suit for those of us new to Planetside? In short, it is a mechanically assisted suit of armor that gives soldiers superior armor, strength, speed and destructive ability. A literal dual wielding death dealing weapon of mass evisceration, often specialized to take out either infantry, tanks or air. It is often used in platoons to push past enemy lines and make it to the point. But don't let this monolith of mayhem fool you, it does require copious amounts of support from enemy engineers and medics. If you need a repair, you need an engineer. If you die, you need a medic. So that makes two different support roles just to support one max. And that's why there's a difference between being an effective max and being an ineffective max. So first, I'm going to tell you what makes your kit effective. Each faction max is different and has its own special ability. For the Venu Sovereignty, it is the Zealot Overdrive system, commonly referred to as Zoe. When activated, it gives the user a bonus in damage output and agility. However, it comes at the cost of your armor. So use discretion when activating it and make sure that you have ample support around you to repair you in the case case of you losing your armor. The Terran Republic's unique ability is called Lockdown. When activated, it substantially increases the rate of fire and reload speed at the cost of being immobile. This requires several engineers supporting you and is used situationally when you must hold down a point or defensive position. Using it offensively is possible but not recommended. For the new conglomerate, this special ability is the Aegis Shield. When activated, it provides the user an almost impenetrable shield against all fire including rockets and small arms. This ability can only be activated for a short period of time and does not allow for the use of your primary weapon. Understanding each ability's strengths and weaknesses is vital to being able to play your max effectively. The Zoe in some situations can be a death sentence. The Aegis Shield can allow you to get on top of a target while under cover and the lockdown can help you take a point and keep it for a very long period of time. In addition to these faction specific abilities, there are also two additional abilities that are available, including the charge ability which allows for a short burst of high speed and the ammo canister which gives you extra ammunition, however both of these are not advisable over the faction specific abilities. Under the armor tab of your max you will find three options. Kinetic Armor, Flak Armor, and Nanite Auto Repair System. However, the most important armor that you should choose is Flak Armor, because the worst enemy of the max is C4, and that is explosive. And lastly, always make sure that you're pairing your weapons correctly. Having two identical weapons makes sure that you can specialize to the given task. Having different weapons separates your DPS and makes you less efficient. An excellent example of this are the flat cannons which should always be paired, allowing you to take out enemy targets extremely quickly. However, it should be noted that this should not be used against infantry and cannot be used against armor. It's important to know that as a Max, you are always going to need to be supported by your engineers. What I like to do is have a buddy system. Get a buddy that you know and have him stick by you all the time as an engineer. But be careful because he's more squishy than you are. Sometimes being an almighty god of destruction can get to your head, so always remember that being a Max is a team play experience. Communicate and make sure you're always pushing the point with your teammates. Because a lone wolf Max is a dead Max. So let's review. Don't be a Rambo, you will die. Always have engineer support or you will die. 
Always pair weapons and specialize. Understand your abilities or you definitely will die. Be mindful of explosives and rockets, yeah, this one will kill you too. If you can follow these easy steps listed in the video, you're on your way to becoming an effective max. I will cover in greater detail how to utilize maxes in a platoon setting in another video. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit subscribe and let me know what you thought in the comments. And I'll see you guys, Planetside.